serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high-fidelity, all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyrighted by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. Time for area high school baseball on the Show Me Sports Network. This is the area high school baseball pregame show on the exclusive broadcast of the Show Me Sports Network. We'll recap last game's highlights and set the stage for first pitch. All while we get set to bring you the exciting play-by-play action of area high school baseball. The best broadcast coverage in mid-Missouri is on the air as Blake Gazaway and the crew are ready in the broadcast booth. Exclusive pregame coverage of area high school baseball is brought to you by Boone County Journal, Eddie Goodell Society, Han Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, Last Sentinel Firearms, Retrieving Freedom, and Sawdust Studios. The excitement is building in the stands and the tension is rising in the dugout as first pitch is just around the corner. You're listening to exclusive coverage of area high school baseball on the Show Me Sports Network. Now here's the voice of the Show Me Sports Network, Blake Gasaway. And a very pleasant good morning, everybody. Blake Gasaway here with you as we are just about set for First game of the season for the uh, Southern Boone County Eagles baseball team as they are out here ready to get doubleheader action on the day underway as they'll have split doubleheader action. For game one, they will be taking on the Fulton Hornets here as they play at home. Also their home opener as it's going to be a beautiful day at the ballpark as we are just about ready to get our ball game underway. Blake Gazaway here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. We're glad you're tuned in to listen. As we'll get it through our uh, starters and things as we go. Just trying to get everything dialed in, ready to go. Different setup here. And uh, first time we've been here, but a nice facility here at the ballpark here for Southern Boone County. is on the mound getting the start will be Hayden Steelman. So first batter he'll face is Grant Dorenzi. Left fielder is going to be a slow roller hit back to the mound. Glove over to first base in time to get out number one. So one pitch, one out as Steelman. Goes as a 1-3 put out as he will get the first out of the game. That will be third baseman Ethan Burt will step in. He's playing third base for the Hornets. And here's we play in the top of the first inning. First pitch. That one's going to be upstairs. Ball one. In the on-deck circle will be shortstop Woodrow Foster. Still going to look in. Bob Andert catching for game one. There's going to be a well-hit ball. Loved by third base. Long throw over. It's going to take him off the bag, but first baseman will tag for out. Number two is on third base. That'll be Chase Morris. Over to Nate Smith. That'll be shortstop. Nate Foster. Sorry, Woodrow Foster, rather. He will step in, right-handed batter. First pitch to him. Going to be inside, ball one. I'm glad you're tuned in here to our broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. However you're listening, whether it be by our app or our media center, we're glad you're tuned in. That pitch called strike one. They're leaving the count at one ball and one strike. That one's going to be fouled out of play. That'll put Stillman ahead in the count here at one ball and two strikes. Again, two outs. He's looking for a 1-2-3 inning. 1-2 offering. That one's going to be in there called strike three as he rings him up with a backwards K, and that will end the inning. In the inning, there were no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. And that will take us to the bottom of the first inning. We're still scoreless. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Attention Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at sbcathleticboosters at gmail.com. Let's go Eagles. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal. We're with you all the way. Some of the first inning as the Eagles will get their first chance to come to the plate as they'll lead off the batters one, two, and three. That'll be center fielder in Carter Caroca. Third baseman Chase Morris. Right fielder Austin Evans. Be the three that'll be due up in the on deck circle will be Hayden Stillman again. He gets the start for today. Decent crowd has made their way here to the ballpark. And rain was supposed to rain today, at least earlier in the week they were calling for it, but rain got moved out. So it's going to be a great day at the ballpark. So Carter Karatka will be leading off here on the mound for the Hornets will be Dustin Hagens. So Karatka, the Center fielder for game one here, left-handed batter. First offering from Higgins on its way. It's going to be a ball sliced down the third base line out of play. That'll put him down in the count at 0-1. And, and That'll be an 0-1 count here for Karaka. Next offering. That one's... Called strike two, caught the outside part of the strike zone. So the 0-2 offering from Higgins. That one upstairs and outside. That'll take it one ball and two strikes. One two offering. That one called strike three on the outside part of the plate. So both pitchers have a strikeout looking. Now this will be third baseman Chase Morris in the on deck circle will be right fielder Austin Evans. Then due up we get that far pitcher Hayden Steelman. So Morris will step in. The right handed batter. His first at bat of the season. That one's upstairs, ball one. So he will be ahead in the count. That one's going to be inside. I'll take it to 2-0. and So 2-0 offering from Higgins on its way. That one's going to be sliced down the first baseline, put too much English on it. There was a lot of room over there for Morris. He will be down in the count. Actually ahead, rather. Two balls, one strike. As we said, lineups for the Eagles. Pitching on the mound, Steelman. Behind home plate is Bob Andert. First base, Nate Smith. Second base, Carter Salter. Shortstop is Bradley Smith. Third base, Chase Morris. Left field, Tate John. Center field, Carter Caraca. And in right field, Austin Evans, that one upstairs. So that takes us to a count of three balls and one strike. Three one offering. That one's going to be fouled. 
will play. So that will take us full. At three balls and two strikes again here as we play in the bottom of the first inning. One out. Neither team has yet to break on the scoreboard. That one's going to be another ball that's going to be hit foul coming over as the right fielder. He will slide into the fence and it goes out of play so he cannot get a glove on it. So we'll stay at a full count. So payoff pitch on its way. That one is not in the strike zone, so free pass issued for Morris. But now stepping in will be Austin Evans. He's going to hit a high fly ball. And center fielder, right fielder both going back on it. And that is going to be caught at the wall. I thought there was going to be not enough real estate, but he gives it a ride just not far enough. Now batting number nine, Hayden Steelman. That'll be Hayden Stillman will be stepping in with two outs here. Runner on first base. Hayden, a right-handed batter. Two outs here. Runner on first. We'll throw over to first back in time. Morris back safely. Takes a decent lead. Stillman will dig back in. First offering to him. Called strike one. Bob Andert, the catcher in the on-deck circle. If Stillman can find a way to get on base. So one offering will be forthcoming. There's going to be a stolen base. They will throw down to second, but it's offline. So Chase Morris will get a stolen base. He will be down at second base now. Pitch was outside. Took it to one ball and one strike. They'll have a conversation real quick. As Tyler Arthur goes out to have a conversation with his starting pitcher. So Morris will be down at second base via that stolen base. One ball, one strike to count. Hagan will check the runner at second. 1-1 one, one offering, swung on and missed. It'll make it strike two. So Stillman will be down in the count at one ball and two strikes. Hagan looks in. As hit and run was on, headed to third base. Was Morris. He will have to go back to second base. That pitch was fouled off. So we'll stay with one ball and two strikes against Steelman. We'll dig back in. So Higgins looks in. A long look in there. He'll get the sign check the runner twice. And a 1 2 offering. Swung on and missed for strike three. And that will end the inning. In the inning, there were no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We'll go to the uh, top of the second inning. We're still scoreless as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! Well, leading off the inning will be uh, designated here, Josh Dunmire. He's going to foul that one out of play. They'll be down in the count. No balls and one strike. That one's going to be upstairs and inside, even the count. At one ball and one strike. Do up next will be pitcher Dustin Hagens, and then the first baseman in John Teal. That'll be the three that Stillman will face. That one swung on and missed. So that takes it to one ball and two strikes. That one called strike three, so second strike out of the game for Stillman. That'll be pitcher Dustin Hagens. So he will come to bat here. He is a right-handed batter. So Stillman's first offer going to be a bouncy ball taking it short. Glove throw to first base. To in time, that'll be out number two. Bouncy ball hit to Smith. Over to Smith. So now this will be first baseman John Teal. That one misses, ball one. Stillman looking to face the minimum in this inning as well. He did that in the top of the first inning. That one swung on and missed. Takes the count, one ball and one strike. That one also swung on and missed. For strike number two. So one two offering from Stillman. Swung on and missed for strike three. Two strikeouts in the inning. And the frame is done. He has one, two, three inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. So we go to the bottom of the second inning. It is still scoreless. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers. With some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, a veteran-owned business. Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. 
Well, leading off the inning for the Eagles will be batters 5, 6, and 7. This will be uh, catcher Bob Ander. He's a left-handed batter. First pitch to him. This is ball one. So he will be ahead in the count. And one ball and no strikes as we play here in the bottom of the second inning. That pitch is going to be low and outside. And it'll take him to a 2-0 count. Andert will dig back in. 2-0 offering on its way. That one outside. That makes it a 3-0 count. Andert, the senior, will be ahead in the count 3-0. That one in there for called strike one. Andert will step back in. 3-1 offering from Higgins on its way. Swung on and missed. That'll take it to a full count of three balls and two strikes. Again, as we're scoreless here in the bottom of the second inning. That pitch upstairs. So a six-pitch walk issued to the senior and Bob Andert. Lead-off walk. Put him on first base now to be the left fielder in Tate John. John, a senior. We're going to have a courtesy runner here. This will be Tristan McKee, the sophomore, will go down to first base. So McKee will be now running the base path for Andert. So he'll be on first base. Tate John, the left fielder. Right-handed batter at the plate. He'll take a big cut and miss at that one. So he'll be down in the count. And no balls in one strike. And neither team is yet to break the goose egg on the scoreboard. Higgins looks in, gets the sign, shakes his head. A one offering, that one downstairs and inside. That'll leave in the count. And one ball and one strike. First game of the season for both of these teams. Throw over to first base, and ball's going to pop out of the glove with safe anyways. Was McKee. It will be a 1-1 count. And Higgins, another throw over to first base. That one gets... Out of the glove again, might have actually hit McKee. So he was diving back. Hagen's very concerned about the sophomore over there on first base. So McKee will take another lead at first base. 1-1 one, one offering. Will be on its way. That one in there called strike two right down central. Tate John now has to protect the plate, as he is. Down in the count at one ball, two strikes. He's going to take a big cut and miss at that one for out number one. So John is retired. That's the third strikeout of the game for Higgins. Now this will be second baseman Carter Salter. Salter, the junior, left-handed batter. So first pitch to him, called strike one. So again, runner on first base. Andert was issued a walk. They brought in a courtesy runner for McKee. Higgins looks in, gets the sign. And look over that shoulder, a one offering, that one outside. Catcher comes out to see if they were going to try to take second base. So McKee was not going. Brian Ash, the head coach for Southern Boone County Eagles. A nice time talking with him this week. Also before the game, chatting a little bit. Throw over to first base again. That one gets by the first baseman. So 
It'll be down to second is McKee on a wild throw over to first base. Almost could have called that as Higgins threw over there a couple times. Both of them were out of the first baseman's glove. That one gets by him completely. So now McKee will be at second base. 1-1 one -one offering to Salter with one out. Big cut and a miss there for strike number two. He was swinging for the fences there. So one ball, two strike count. Again, one out here as we play in the bottom of the second. Higgins will step off. Time called. And neither team has yet to score here in the home opener and season opener for the Eagles. That one's going to be fouled. And Salter tried to put the brakes on the swing. But just counted a little bit with the bat. So it'll still stay. One ball, two strikes. And one out here. McKee on second base. Higgins steps off. He can't get the signs he's wanting from his catcher in Arthur. So they'll go through the signs again. Long look in from Higgins. Now he'll finally get the sign. 1-2 offering on its way. Big cut and a miss for out. Number two now number as Salter is retired. Now this will be first baseman. Nate Smith, the junior, steps in. As they'll have another conversation on the mound as Arthur and Hagens. The runner on second base, I'm sure they changed up the signs here. I expect they have anyways. So Smith will step in here, right-handed batter. First plate appearance of the day. He'll have two outs with the runner on second base. First one in there called strike one. He'll step back into the batter's box. Higgins checks the runner at second. Long look at second. Now a one offering. That one downstairs. Evens the count. One ball and one strike. Just shy of 1130 here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasaway here with you. Well, you're enjoying today's broadcast. That one's going to be fouled way out of play. So that'll make it one ball and two strikes. The one-two offering on its way. There's going to be a ball sliced into right field. That's going to score at least the go-ahead run as he's trying for second base. They'll relay the throw in. He will be in there safely with an RBI double. So Smith gets a two-out RBI double as he slides in there. That scores McKee, who was courtesy running for Andert. Now this will be shortstop Bradley Smith. The senior will step in. His team has a one-to-nothing lead. They score the only runner there on the base path. There's a... Half-hearted swing, tried to check up, but could not do so in time for strike number one. So Smith will step back in again as Nate Smith on second base. That one upstairs, so Bradley will have an even count of one ball and one strike. Two outs here, runner on second base, 1-1 one, one offering. He's going to show bunt. He'll bunt it foul down the first base line. So Bradley will have to come back. So the count will be one ball, two strikes. Again, two outs here. Runner on second base, 1-1 one, one has been plated. That one downstairs outside. Evens account at 2-2. Two and two. So Nate Smith on second base will take a lead there. And the Eagles leading one to nothing as they plated one run here in the bottom of the second. There's going to be a swing and a miss. That will be out 
number three. However, there was one run put on the board by way of one hit. No errors and one left on base. So the Eagles do take the early one to nothing lead here as we go to the third inning. If you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need... Need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Nine here for the Hornets. As this will be center fielder Lincoln Smith. He will be leading off the inning. Minimum has been faced so far in the game for Steelman. He's going to hit the first batter here. As Smith is hit by pitch. So Smith will be on first base now, right fielder Paul Huff. John Brinkman, the head coach for Fulton. Smith will be on first base. Stillman looked over and checked on him. Stillman looks over again. There's going to be a well-hit ball foul down the third base line. So Huff will be down in the count. And no balls in one strike. Stillman will be heading the count at 0 and 1. He'll look over and check runner first throw over to first base. Back in time safely is Smith. So one offering will be forthcoming from Smith. Sorry, uh, to Huff rather. Smith on first base. They say he did not go around. And Smith on first, hit by pitch. First pitch, you saw, drilled him in the back. So Stillman will look back in, get the signs for Mander, throw over to first base. Smith back in time. So 1-1 one, one offering from Stillman will be forthcoming. Again, a long look over to first base. That offering upstairs. He takes the count, two balls, one strike. In 1-0 lead for the Eagles. Had a nice conversation with his dad before the game. That one's going to be fouled out of play. So that'll take the count to... Two balls and two strikes. Stillman again looks over to first base. Now he'll throw back over. Even count at two balls, two strikes. And we'll get the sign. 2 2 offering. That one upstairs. That'll take us full. Three balls and two strikes. Runner's going to go to second. 
as that pitch missed. And Huff will get a free pass down to second base. So that will be second baseman Owen Holmes. Holmes will step in with two on and nobody out. Runners on second and first base. He'll show bunt. He'll miss it. Ander comes up. He'll throw to first base. Not quite in time. No tag applied. Like the idea, Holes just tried to throw the bat near the area of the ball. So Stillman will be ahead in the count at 0-1. Again, two on, nobody out. 0-1 offering. Holes shows bunt again. He'll miss that. Take strike two. Holes wearing the pink Elites here. Several on the team have those. So, two offering is going to be a throw to second. Nice heads up play there by Bradley Smith. Again, to go out and get that ball. So, again, 0 2 count for Oles. Two on, nobody out here as we play in the top of the third inning. Stillman will check the runner. That pitch misses upstairs. That'll take the count to one ball and two strikes. Stillman looks in. He'll... Step off. Maybe he's, he's really concerned about Smith there on second base as he was when he was on first base. So Smith would be a threat to steal. That one's going to be swung on and missed. For out number one. It's the fourth strikeout of the game. Now we go back to the top of the lineup. Left fielder Grant Dorenzi. We'll have a meeting on the mound with the infield. So it'll be left fielder Grant Dorenzi. He was the first out of the game in a 1-3 put out, so he's 0 for 1. And hopefully you're enjoying today's broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gazaway here with you. We'll be covering Southern Boone County Eagles as much of the season, all season long as we can. Got a few other commitments got to take care of. The uh, girls' soccer team got an impressive win yesterday. It was a 2-0 score. So Trenzi, first pitch to him. He's going to lay off that for ball one. So one ball, no strike count, and one out here. And we play in the top of the third inning. That one got Dorenzi to bail out of the way. Eagles do lead, one to nothing. However, one out with two on here for the Hornets. That pitch called strike one. So Stillman trying to battle back here. He's down in the count. Two balls, one strike. Two one offering. That one's upstairs. That'll take it to a three one count. Stillman. Now, has a little bit of a jam he's trying to work out of. That one called strike two. So now we'll go full. At three balls, two strikes again. 
Smith on second base and on first base is Huff. That one in there called strike three. So back-to-back strikeouts for Stillman. That'll be third baseman Ethan Burt. He's 0 for 1, hit into a 5-3 put out in his only at bat. So two on with two outs here. Stillman trying to get out of the inning, but no damage done. He'll check the runner a couple times at second. That one called strike one. So Burt will be down in the count 0 and 1. Stillman looks in, 0 1 offering. It's going to be a hard hit ball. It's going to be taken by shortstop. He'll step on the base at second for out number three. I will go as a 6 4. Sorry, a 6. Not a 6 4, a 6. Unassisted out for out number three. Well, the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. Two left on base. As Stillman works out of the jam, leaves two stranded. As you're listening to exclusive coverage, Southern Boone County Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Attention Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at sbcathleticboosters at gmail.com. Let's go Eagles. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Well, the Eagles able to work out of that uh, slight jam they got into there. As they still lead one to nothing as we enter play here in the bottom of the third inning. Leading off for the Eagles, number seven, Carter Karatka. So we'll go back to the top of the lineup, center fielder Carter Karatka. Karatka, the senior. And in center field, first offering to him here. Going to be in the dirt, bounce over towards me. He was a strikeout victim in his first and only at bat here. A 1-0 offering. That one's upstairs. I'll make it. A 2-0 count in his favor. Given the on-deck circle be Chase Morris and then Austin Evans. That one inside. That'll make it a 3-0 count. Three-zero offering on its way. That one also misses. So a four-pitch walk to lead off the inning. It's exactly what they did last inning when they. Took the uh, one to nothing lead. New up will be third baseman Chase Morris. Morris, a sophomore. They're going to have a quick meeting on the mound here for the Hornets. His head coach, John Brinkman, calls everybody in from the infield to have a discussion. And hopefully you're enjoying today's broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gazaway here with you. So we'll have both games here, the doubleheader. As the second game, it'll be split doubleheader action. It'll be Palmyra against the Eagles. The Hornets and Palmyra will match up in game two between the 
two games in a doubleheader. See somebody warming up down in the bullpen for the Hornets. Dave Hagen's day will soon be done, I think. That one in the dirt. His last five pitches have been nowhere near the strike zone. So Morris will step back in. Again, right-handed batter. They'll have Karatka on first base. 1-0 offering on the way. There's going to be a bouncing ball. Karatka was headed to second. He'll round. And now he'll have to go back, and he's going to be thrown out as he took a wide curve, was expecting to throw over to first base, and they did not. And got him a little too far on the base path. Ash is going to go out, head coach Brian Ash is going to go out and have a discussion. I don't think he's probably going to win this argument. So Karanka will be out number one. So now it'll be Austin Evans. First pitch to him misses ball one. So Morris will be on first base. Evans will be ahead in the count. I want to know Morris is going to steal second. They throw down there, hits him on the head. I think he's got a helmet on. Clinked him on the top of the head, so he's got a stolen base. Wise decision for him not to try to take third as that ball didn't get very far into left field. So Evans ahead in the count at 2 and 0. Oh. Higgins will check back at second. He will not throw over there. He stepped off like he was going to. As Morris dives back into second base. 2 0 -oh offering. That one's going to be hit a mile in the air. Coming in on it is the second baseman, and he will make the grab for out number two. Number nine, as Evans just got too much underneath it, lifted it pretty much just straight up in the air. Now this will be uh, pitcher Hayden Steelman. He steps in. The senior. He's got a runner on second with two outs here. First pitch to him. This is low, ball one. So Higgins looks back in. 1 0 offering. That one inside. They'll throw down to first base, and there's going to be another stolen base as Morris will have two stolen bases. Ball pops out of the third baseman's glove. Roll is there, but Burt could not put the glove to it and pops out. So he'll be standing that much closer now for Steelman. 2-0 offering on its way. That one misses. Ball three. And the on-deck circle will be catcher Bob Andert. Steelman looking to help out his own cause here. As his team leads by a score of one to nothing. You have a runner in scoring position. 3-0 pitch. That one misses, so another four-pitch walk issued. That is the third walk. Third walk here in the game so far. We'll have another courtesy runner. This will be Nate Melvin, the freshman. He will come in. for Stillman. So corners will be occupied here as Andert, the catcher, steps in. It's turned out to be a beautiful day here at the ballpark. This game one to three here. So 
Uh, two outs here, runners on the corners as Andert steps in. Left-handed batter. That one misses. Ball one. His only at bat it was a six-pitch walk. Higgins checks the runner on third. 1-0 offering. There's a big cut and a miss there. Evens account one ball and one strike. I'll check to see what play call and, and Coach Ryan Ash just called out. It's a 1-1 offering from Higgins. He'll be on the way. Andrew will show bunt. He'll lay it down. And he's going to try to leg it out and just comes up just short. He is not able to leg out the bunt. Just got a little bit too much bat on it. That goes as a 1-3 put out. In the inning, there were no runs. No hits, no errors. Two left on base. As the Eagles still have a 2 to nothing lead. As we'll pause here and be back as we go to the fourth inning of play. If you're listening to exclusive coverage of Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your your last line of defense. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take the walk, Eddie. Well, we'll go to the top of the fourth inning here. As it's still a one to nothing lead in favor of the Southern Boone County Eagles. Aiden Stillman comes out for his fourth inning of work here. As he will face batters three, four, and five. This will be shortstop Woodrow Foster. First pitch to him misses ball one. Foster struck out looking in his only at bat so far. As Foster calls for time. He'll be granted that as he'll step out. So Stillman will tow the rubber again. 1-0 offering on its way. That one's going to be down central called strike one. That'll leave in the count. That one ball and one strike. 1-1 one -one offering. That one's going to be a well-hit ball. And it will drop into left field. It'll be a leadoff single as left fielder Tate John and it bounce in front of him. So Foster gets on base to lead off the inning. As we designate hitter Josh Dunmire, he was a strikeout victim. His only at bat so far. So he'll step in with nobody out. Runner on first base here in the top of the fourth inning. First pitch to him, misses just a little low. And makes it one ball, no strike. Count on him. And then Meyer will step back in. One all offering. That one called strike one. I'll even the count of one ball and one strike. So 
Stillman will look over, check the runner on first base. It'll be Foster. 1-1 one, one offering. There's going to be a ball hit foul near the third base dugout. That's the dugout for the Eagles. That'll put Dunmire down in the count at one ball and two strikes. There's a throw over to first base. Back safely was Foster without a problem. Still going to look in, get the sign. 1-2 offering. It's going to be a bouncing ball. Chance for a double play. They've got one. Goes as a 6-4-3 double play. So they turn two here and get the runners off the base path. So Dunmeyer hits into a double play. So that empties the base path. That empties everybody off. Now it'll be pitcher in Dustin Hagens. He get into a 4-3 out, his only at bat. So empty base path now with two outs. He's going to hit another one to the shortstop. He'll glove, throw to first base in time for out number three. So the minimum was faced. However, it was an unconventional minimum as gave off the leadoff single. There were no runs, one hit. No errors, and nobody left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of the frame as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high-powered lasers. With some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. The -the state-of-the-art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one-of-a-kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573-489-8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business creating custom handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier become a member of sawdust studios and enjoy 24 7 access to a woodworker's paradise outfit with industry leading professional grade tools sawdust studios offers endless woodworking possibilities don't have woodworking experience no problem as sawdust studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers experienced designers and master craftsmen youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers for more information search sawdust studios on facebook or find them online at sawdust 247.com Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. Ryan Newman has entered the game here as we uh, head into the bottom of the fourth inning. So the day is done for Higgins as Newman will take over the mound. He inherits a 1 0 lead. One zero deficit, I should say, for his squad. He is a unorthodox right-handed pitcher. He comes from down under. Not the most submarine pitcher I've seen, but he's a rather tall pitcher too. Leading off for so leading off for the. Uh, Eagles will be senior Tate John. It'll be a batter six, seven, and eight. It'll be Tate John, Carter Salter, and Nate Smith. Still see action in the bullpen for the Hornets. First offering to him misses ball one. So he'll be ahead in the count, one ball and no strikes. So he'll dig back in. 1-0 offering. That one outside misses. That takes it to one ball. And two, sorry, uh, two balls and no strikes. Looking at the wrong line. He's a strikeout victim. His only a bat so far, so he's 0 for 1 on the day. 2-0 2-0 offering. That one's going to be fouled out of play. 
So that'll make it 2-1. And for Fulton, they will have a second game coming up after this. Everybody playing two games today. They'll face Palmyra, and then game three of the day will be Center Boone and Palmyra. 2-1 offering. That one misses. Ball three. So Tate John can be choosy here as he's ahead in the count, three and one. Lead off batter here. That one misses, so it'll be a five-pitch walk issued to Tate John. Now batting for the Eagles. So now it'll be Six, Carter, Carter Salter. Salter, the junior, will step in. He was a uh, strikeout, swinging in his only at bat. There was a throw to first base, back safely. He'll show bunt. He'll lift it into the third base line. Third baseman will glove and mishandle it, and everybody's going to be safe. He came crashing down. And hits off his palm, and everybody's going to be safe. Let's say that's an E5. So now this will be first baseman Nate Smith. He's a junior here at Southern Boone County. So he will step on. His team having a 1 0 lead. He'll come to bat here with two on, nobody out. And John at second base, he took a walk. Salter on first by way of E5. First pitch to him, ball one. So Newman having a little bit of command issues here. In his first inning to work as we play in the bottom of the fourth, that one's going to be fouled out of play. So he will be down in the count. One ball and one strike. Newman will check the runner on second. Now he will throw over there. Diving grab by the shortstop to prevent that from going into center field. As John dove back into the bag. So 1-1 one, one offering. They'll show bunt, lay it down, it goes foul. Smith was trying to bunt it down the first base line. A little bit too much English on it, goes foul. So that'll put him down to the count of one ball, two strikes. Again, nobody out here with two runners on. The Eagles are leading one to nothing as we play in the bottom half of the fourth inning. It's game one of two, a split double header here for the Eagles. That one's going to be swung on and missed for out number one. Smith could not lay off that. Pitch. Now it'll be shortstop Bradley Smith. He is 0 for 1 with the strikeout in his only at bat so far here on the day. So he has two on with one out. Newman will check the runner at second. First offering. Now one's going to be sliced foul. Way out of play. That'll actually probably end up on the football field. As a baseball field here at Southern Boone. Right next to the football field. I have the privilege of calling Eagles football. Plan to do it again this fall. Looking forward to that. But first, we're going to get through baseball season. Have a good time doing that. He'll bunt it. And that one is going to uh, stay fair. And everybody will be safe. As Smith lays down a beautiful bunt. Now batting for Southern Boone, number so seven, now it'll be bases Carter loaded. Rocco. So he lays down a bunt. Everybody moves around a base. So one out here now back to the top of the lineup with Carter Karatka. He is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Does have a walk here. So base is loaded with one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. First pitch to him downstairs outside ball one. So he will dig back in again left handed batter. Next offering to Karatka, that one outside. Ball two. Catcher had to go out and get it, but 
and get away from it. So two balls, no strikes. Again, bases loaded here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Newman will step off the mound. Wants to cycle through the signs here. So he'll get the one he's looking for, 2-0 offering. And one's going to be downstairs. Karaka lays off of it. Did take a big step, loaded up the bat. Didn't take a cut at it. The Rio offering on its way. That one called strike one. So Karaka takes that one. Still puts the count in his favor. A three balls and one strike. Get just one out with the bases loaded here. Eagles lead one to nothing. Looking to add to that lead. 3-1 offering. There's going to be a ball hit foul. It's blistered down the first baseline, but foul. That would have probably scored at least two, if not would have emptied the base path, had that hooked into the corner. So now it'll be a full count of three balls and two strikes. Again, one out. When the base is loaded here as we play in the bottom of the fourth. Newman's payoff pitch. That one's outside, so Newman walks in a run. Now batting for the Eagles, number three, Chase Morris. So now it'll be Chase Morris as Tate John scores from third base. Salter will be now on third. Bradley Smith will be on second. And Caraca will be on first base. So still one out, bases loaded again. For Chase Morris. First pitch to him inside. Got him to turn around. Out of the way. He has a walk. Also hit into a fielder's choice in his two at-bats. He'll be heading the count. One ball. No strikes. Now it's a two to nothing lead for the Eagles. 1-0 offering. Swing and a miss. Leaving the count. One ball and one strike. Morris might have got... One of the seams on that ball, but didn't get much. 1-1 one, one offering. That one's going to be outside. That'll take it to two balls and one strike. Again, beautiful day here at the ballpark. Or just after 12 o'clock. Blake Gazzle here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. 2-1 offering. A well-hit ball is going to be bounced to the second or shortstop. He'll flip it over to second for just one out there. So that will score a run. So now it'll be three to nothing for the Eagles. As Morris, it's an RBI. So now this will be A.J. Evans, the right fielder, stepping in. The runners on the corners here, two outs. The Eagles lead by a score. Three to nothing. So that one will miss. So Evans will be heading the count. A one ball and no strikes. Next offering to him. That one caught the outside part of the plate, evens the count at one ball and one strike. Evans, the seventh batter here in the frame. Two runs have been plated. They're looking for more as runners on the corners. Evans will step back in, the right fielder. There's a throw over to third base, not in time, trying to scamper back. Safely was Bradley Smith. Made my arm hurt watching Newman throw over there. Much a submarine style. Newman will stretch his arm out. That might hurt his arm too. So two outs here. Evans at bat. Runners on the corners. 1-1 one, one offering. They're going to go down to second. They'll throw back to third. Threw it into left field. And that's going to cost them another run. As Morris was stealing second. He'll end up at third as Smith comes home. 
So another run plated there. So Morris steals second. And ends up at third base. Smith scores. It's going to be a slow roller. It's going to land in front of the mound, picking it up, throwing to first base in time for out number three. So that is a costly throwing error there for the Hornets. As there were three runs. A couple of hits. A couple of errors. One left on base. Most importantly, the uh, Eagles lead by a score. A uh, four to nothing now as we go to the Fifth inning of work. We'll be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hello, Blake Gazaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Well, the Hornets, they trail now by a score of four to nothing as they will send batters six, seven, and eight to the plate. This will be first baseman John Teal, then center fielder Lincoln Smith, then right fielder Paul Huff. Stillman will enter his fifth inning to work here. First pitch down central, called strike one. So Teal will be down in the count at 0-1. Owen offering. That one misses, that evens the count. And one ball and one strike. One one count. That pitch just misses upstairs. Stillman looks back in, gets the sign. Next offering. That one's going to be a well hit ball. Left fielder going back on it. He'll track it down. Actually took a couple steps to his left, makes the catch. Let's take John for out number one. Two gave it a ride, but not enough to leave the park. Now it'll be center fielder Lincoln Smith. He was hit by a pitch. His only at bat so far. Drilled him right in that number one on his back. So he will step in here. Right handed batter. First pitch to him called strike one. So he'll be down in the count. Next offering. That one called strike two. So. Steelman froze him twice now at the plate here. That one misses outside. So I'll take it to one ball and two strikes. One two offering on its way. That one's going to be a ball sliced into uh, the gap. It'll go straight up the middle into center field. And Smith will have a one-out single. So now this will be a center or a right fielder rather, and Paul Huff. Huff walked his last at bat. Only a bat that he has had so far. And Eagles lead four to nothing. One on one out here. First offering him upstairs. Ball one. Huff will be ahead in the count at 1-0. and oh. And one out here as we play in the top of the fifth inning. It's opening day here in Southern Boone County. That one called strike one. I'll leave the count at 1-1. One and one. And Home opener, season opener. Beautiful day here at the ballpark. So 
One-one offering on its way. That one called strike two. So Stillman looking for another strikeout. He's got five so far in the game. One-two offering, swing and a miss. Now he's got six. That is out number two. Now stepping in, this will be Owen Oles. He's going to hit, chopper off the mound. It'll be gloved and short tap and second for out number three. So in the inning, there were no runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on base as the Eagles still lead by a score. Uh, four to nothing. We're going to take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Attention Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at sbcathleticboosters at gmail.com. Let's go Eagles. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer, you're a parent, you're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. Well, we'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Again, the Eagles leading by a score of four to nothing. It'll be batters four, five, and six. That'll be Stillman, Andert, and John will be the three that'll be due up. I'd like to see a few more Eagles come to plate as they lead by a score of four to nothing. Put up a three spot in the last frame they were at bat. First offering from Newman. Stillman's going to slice it off the end of the bat. Right fielder coming in. He'll make the grab. In shallow center field for out number one. Gilman gave it a ride, just not enough to leave the park. Now this will be catcher Bob Andert. He had a walk his first at bat, second at bat. He was the third out with a 1-3 put out at first base. The left-handed batter steps in. First offering to him inside ball one. He will be ahead in the count. And one ball and no strikes. Again, his team leading four to nothing. Newman on the mound again, still for the Hornets. That one will be foul tipped. Even the count of one ball and one strike. Again, one out here as we play. In the bottom of the fifth inning. Opening day here at Southern Boone County. 1 1 offering. That was going to be a ball. It's going to get into right field. As Andert will be on first base with a one out single. Number eight, Tate John. So Tate John, the left fielder, he will step in now. We have a courtesy runner for Andert. This will be Tristan McKee again. So McKee will jog down to first base. Let Bob get his catcher's gear back on. So McKee will be at first for him. As Tate John will step in. He took a walk his last at bat, was a strikeout on his first at bat. He did score one of those three runs 
in the last frame. There's going to be a steal down at second base. Throw is there, but not in time. So McKee will now be at second base. So take John, head in the count at 1-0. and Again, one out runner on second base. 1-0 offering. There's a big swing and a miss. That'll leave the count at one ball and one strike. And four runs, just two hits. One error. That one swung on and missed. Five left on base for the Eagles. No runs, two hits, two errors, and one left on base for the Hornets. One, two offering. That one's going to be fouled up. Coming over is the catcher. He'll make the grab for out number two. Now batting number six. That'll also be second baseman Carter Salter. He's had a strikeout as well as reached on an E5. Did score a run in the last inning as well. He'll step in with one on and two out here. He's going to foul that one back. So he'll be down in the count at 0 and 1. So he will step back in. Left-handed batter's box. Newman will check the runner at second. That's McKee as a courtesy runner. Check a couple times. Now is 0-1 offering. Salter will lift that one. Going back on it is the second baseman. And it's going to drop in between everybody. And one run will score. As McKee will score from second base. As Salter gets an RBI single. Now this will be first baseman, Nate Smith. So Smith will step in. His team now leads by a score of five to nothing. Now he's going to lift that one in the air. Right fielder coming up to make the grab. That'll be... Out number three. But in the inning, was one run on two hits, no errors, one left on, or nobody left on base, rather. So that'll take us to the sixth inning to work as the Eagles lead by a score. Uh, five to nothing. We'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take the walk, Eddie! Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers. With some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business a pitching change here is now on the mound for the eagles will be carter salter so he will now be the pitcher there's going to be a well hit ball lifted into right field and it's going to get down and bounce to the fences that'll be at least a double looks like it's going to be trying to stretch into a triple as throw will be there, not in time, as player is safe. However, I think he caught 
Steelman in the face with his cleat on the way by. And Steelman is down. He's holding his forehead. He tried to adjust to make the grab as Dorenzi slid in there into first base, or sorry, third base. And caught. Stillman there, if he's going to be okay. It was nothing intentional. Now batting number two, Ethan Burke. Just caught him on the way by. Again, it was not intentional. Looks like Stillman's going to be okay, so that's a leadoff triple. So Salter's first offering to third baseman Ethan Burt called strike one. That one's going to be a ball hit into left field. It's going to score a run. That'll be an RBI single, back-to-back -back hits given up by Burt. Or sorry, it's Burt gets that one, given up by Salter. Now batting number 23, Woodrow Foster. So now this will be shortstop Woodrow Foster. As it's a 5-1 to one lead, still in favor of the Eagles. Nobody out here runner on first base. Salter looks in, gets the sign. First pitch down central, called strike one. So Foster is 0 for 2 with a strikeout, as well as hit into a 6 4 3 double play. Salter will check at first base. He'll throw over there. Back in time is Burt. Sorry, Foster actually had a single his last time up, but was out as part of that 6 4 3 double play. Foster deep in the batter's box here on the right-hand side. That one misses the strike zone, evens the count. One ball and one strike. Just couldn't get it to drop in there. So the count, even at one ball and one strike. Another throw over to first base. Runner back safely. That one misses low. Even set of two balls and one strike. There's time asked for and granted. So two balls, one strike to count. Five to one, Eagles lead. That one. In there, called strike two. So that evens a count of two balls and two strikes. And Breeze picking up just a little bit, blowing out in right field. That one's going to be a well-hit ball, lifted foul down the first base line, coming over and making the grab in foul territory. He is A.J. Evans. That'll be out number one. Now this will be designated hitter Josh Dunmeyer. He struck out as well as hit into a 6-4-3 double play. So he is 0 for 2 on the day. Has a runner on first base with one out here. Salter's next offering. It'll be a bouncy ball. Steelman can't grab it at third base. He will throw to second. However, it's going to get past the second baseman. Tough play there. Bouncing ball just bounced right in front of Stillman. I'm going to give that a single. Not that my opinion matters here. Not the official scorekeeper. But that is a tough play in general. Now this will be the new pitcher in the game. Ryan Newman. First pitch, outside ball one. So 
One out, two runners on here as Newman steps in, holds that bat high above his head. Yeah, he'll cock it behind the shoulder. He's going to foul that one back. In the on-deck circle will be first baseman John Teal. So Newman steps back in. Again, left-handed batter. Look at that bat above his head. Now he'll cock it on his shoulder. 1-1 one, one offering, misses outside. That makes it a two-ball, one-strike count. And wind a little bit swirly. Now it's shifted, blowing out to left field. Now it's kind of out towards center field. Runners on first and second. Newman hits a ball into right field, going back on him, making the grab for out number two. And it's checking up, going to third base. Will be Burt. Evans gets another grab. So now this will be John Teal with two outs here. So now runners on the corners with two outs. And Eagle still leading by a score of five to one. Salter will look at first. First offering, misses inside. Ball one. Long look in here for Salter. 1-0 offering, that one misses for ball two. So to make it 2-0. Well, offering that one's going to be hit into left field. That'll score at least another run. So Teal gets an RBI single. They'll hold the runners up. So he cranks that into left field, scores an RBI single as Burt scores. Now batting, number one, Lincoln Smith. Dunnemeyer goes to second. Teal standing on first base. They're going to bring in another courtesy runner. So this will be a Walker Goring. Walker Goring on first base as a courtesy runner for Teal. So stepping in now, this is center fielder Lincoln Smith. Lead cut down to three runs at five to two now for the Eagles. Just past 12.30. But guys, we're here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hopefully you're enjoying today's broadcast. First offering to him called strike one. Glad you're tuned into the broadcast today. If you're listening through our app or a media center. We're glad you're tuned in. Okay, we've got a second game on tap. It'll be a split doubleheader. That's set for about a 3 o'clock first pitch. And one misses. Evens a count of one ball and one strike. And if you haven't done so, be sure and head over to our Facebook page. The Church Show Me Sports Network. You'll find us there. Give it a like. Give it a share. We appreciate it. 1-1 one, one offering. That one downstairs and in the dirt. Well, it would be dirt, but it's turf here, so... Count goes to two balls, one strike. Salter steps off the mound for a minute. Now he'll step off a second time. Two outs here, two runners on. Smith will dig back in. He's going to hit a ball, and it's going to hit the runner at second base. He tried to jump and dodge it, but caught him on the leg for out number three. We will go to the bottom half of the frame. As the Eagles still lead by three runs at 5-2. to two. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage. Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need Need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? To the bottom of the sixth inning. As on the mound, will be Walker Goering. He will be on the mound now for the Hornets as the Eagles will... to a new batter here. This will be Riker Zimmerman. That first pitch to him fouled off. So Riker Zimmerman Sophomore down, 0-1. And also missed. I'll leave in the count. One ball and one strike. That one called strike two. So Zimmerman will dig back in. Allen's going to be foul tipped. That'll keep the count of one ball and two strikes. John Dick circle. Back to the top of the lineup in center fielder Carter Garaka. One two offering. It's going to be a ball that is fouled off the hands of Zimmerman. That right hand with the foul ball. So it'll still stay. One ball, two strikes. So Goring on the mound here for the Hornets. One, two offering. It's going to be inside. Try to move him off the plate a little bit. Evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two offering. That one gets by the catcher. Coming pitch, this will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Full count, pitch outside, lead off walk. Now batting, number seven, Carter Caraca. Now we'll go back to the top of the lineup, center fielder Carter Caraca. The on-deck circle will be Chase Morse, third baseman. Or was third base, then he switched with Steelman. That one inside called, strike one. So no balls, one strike to count. And runner on first base, that's Zimmerman. One offering. That one misses. Leaves the count. Two balls. Sorry, uh, one ball and one strike. Strikeout. A walk and a walk for 
Baraka so far today. And one missed inside. That takes it. Two balls, one strike to count. In the Eagles lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning by a score of five to two. It's going to be a bouncing ball. It'll be gloved by the second baseman. Only throw is to first base. He'll get the first out there. Now batting, Zimmerman will move over to second base. Morris has had a walk. Get into a fielder's choice. So had a single as well. First pitch to him was a ball. That one also misses. That one called a strike. So I'll push the count to uh, two balls and one strike. And Zimmerman down on second base. One out here. Corrine looks in. 2-1 offering is going to get by the catcher, so Zimmerman will be down to third base on a wild pitch. And now Zimmerman takes his lead at third base. 3-1 offering. That one misses as well, so... Morris will jog on down to first base with a free pass. Now A.J. Evans, the right fielder, will step in. He's 0 for 3. Flew out to right field, flew out to second base. Into a 1-3 out as well. So two on here, one out. Runner's going to go to second, no throw down there. Fourth stolen base. Sorry, fifth stolen base. Here for Morris in the game. The pitch upstairs. Evens the count to one ball and one strike. And runners on second and third now. Three run lead here for the Eagles. One one offering on its way. That one upstairs. Evans will go ahead and the count. Two balls and one strike. Doreen looks in. 2-1 offering. Forthcoming. There's going to be a well-hit ball into right field. The right fielder will make a diving grab and drop the ball. Everybody's going to be safe. That'll score a run as Zimmerman comes home to score as Evans it's credit for an RBI single. So this will be Jace Reynolds now. So Reynolds will come in now. He's a sophomore. He steps in back to a four-run lead for the Eagles. Runners on the corners again just went out. They're going to steal second base again. So Evan steals second base. So now it'll be runners on second and third again. That pitch... So misses. Makes it a 2-0 count for Reynolds. Gorey looks back into a offering. That one downstairs. That makes it a 3-0 count. And one out here. Morris down. 
at third base. Evans on second base. 3-0 offering. That one a four-pitch walk. So Reynolds will jog on down. Jog on down to first base as we have another meeting on the mound here. Stepping in, this will be catcher Bob Andert. So he steps in with the bases loaded here. Just one out. He had a single his last time at bat. And in a 1-3 out, also had a walk. Still a meeting done on the mound. So Andert will step in. Base is loaded. One out here is team leading. My score of 6-2 to two here as we play in the bottom of the sixth inning. First pitch to him way upstairs. Ball one. Again, see a lot of action down in the bullpen for the Hornets. We'll pull the first baseman in. 1-0 offering on its way. That one also upstairs. So I'll make it a 2-0 count for Andert. Got to throw him something down that he might have a chance to hit. And bases are loaded here. Joe Offering fouls that one back. That'll take it two balls, one strike. Get one out, bases loaded. Morris on third, Evans on second, Reynolds on first. Ender to bat. Big cut and a miss there. That takes the count, two balls, two strikes. Andert was swinging for the fences with that one. 2-2 two -two offering. That one inside. Oh, we go full, three balls and two strikes. Goring has nowhere to put. Andert here. Payoff pitch on its way. Walked him, so walked in another run. So Morris scores from third. Evans goes to third base. Reynolds goes to second. McKee goes to first in a courtesy runner. So now it's a 72 score. Stepping in now is Tate John. First pitch to him. This is ball one. The seventh batter to come to the plate here. He's going to slice that one foul. I'll leave with a count of one ball and one strike. John will dig back in. One one offering. He's going to hit that one a mile in the air. It's going to go foul and it will leave. In the park over the fence on the first base side. So he'll be down in the count. One ball, two strikes. Goring looks back in. They've got the infielders pulled in. That one misses. Evens a count at two balls and two strikes. And one out. Base is loaded. Two runs have already been plated here in the inning. 2-2 two -two offering. It's going to be a slow roller. Third baseman will glove. He's going to step on third. No throw anywhere else. But that will score another run. And it's now an 8-2 to two score. Reynolds will be out number two. So now this will be now 
Braden Hawkins. Braden Hawkins steps in now. First pitch to him, misses ball one. Hawkins a senior. As big cut and a miss there, they're going to throw down to third base, and it'll be a stolen base. Now they're going to steal second base as John takes off. Second, so we'll have a stolen base. Everyone with two outs here, count one and two now. Against Hawkins. Two outs here, runners on second and third. Five run lead for the Eagles. That one missed upstairs. Evens the count, two balls, two strikes. Two two offering, swung on and missed. For out number three, eight batters aim to the plate here. We're able to put a couple of runs on the board, give themselves back a five-run cushion as the Eagles lead by a score of seven to two. We're going to take another quick break, and we'll be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Attention Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at sbcathleticboosters at gmail.com. Let's go Eagles. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal. We're with you all the way. Dorenzi. Going to be a big cut and a miss there. I'll put Huff down at 0-2. I'm taken for a ball. A one two offering from Salter. That one's going to be a foul back. That one caught Andert in the groin. He's going to take a minute to comprise himself as Flyer walks the ball out to Salter. That one caught the inside part of the leg in the groin area for. Andert. So he'll get stretched out. Say he's ready. One ball, two strike to count. Lead off batter here. We play in the top of the seventh inning. That pitch is going to be in the dirt. Evens the count, two balls, two strikes. Alter looks back in, gets the sign. 2-2 offering. There's going to be a big cut and a miss. Strike out. We're out number one in the inning. And also the second baseman. Not Oles. Number 25 stepping in. Let me see if I got him on the roster. This is Kurt Humphreys. He's going to foul that one. Pegs it off the pole over here to my left. 
He'll be down in the count at 0-1. He is a left-handed batter. Now on the outside, evens the count. One ball and one strike. So one one offering from Salter on its way. That one is low. Takes it three or two balls, one strike. And Humphreys digs back in. Two one offering. It's going to be a slow roller hit to first base. A glove. Step on first. For out number one as Smith now takes care of that unassisted. Now top of the lineup will go. This will be back to Dorenzi, the left fielder. He had a leadoff triple last inning as part of that two-run frame. First pitched him inside. Ball one. But Arinze will be ahead in the count at 1 0. Salter looks in, gets the sign. That one's going to be hit foul. Got him crossed up in on the hands. Goes over the first base dugout. That takes the count to one ball, one strike. In two outs here as we play in the top of the seventh inning. It's going to be a well-hit ball. Right fielder going back on it. Still going back. Tracks it down for out number three. So in the inning, there were three up and three down. Got out facing the minimum as we'll go to the bottom half of the seventh inning as you're listening to exclusive coverage. Oh, that's right. I'm still stuck in in uh, in other sports mode and softball mode, so that's my fault on that. So no bottom of the seventh inning is that will be a final my score of eight to two. As always, first game of the season takes a little bit to get back under it, and that will be the first game winner for. The Eagles, as they win by a final of 8-2. to two. We're going to take a quick break here as a uh, split doubleheader today. Taking a quick break as we will enjoy this game two here off the air as it'll be uh, Fulton and Palmyra matching up. And then game three, we'll see your Eagles taking on Palmyra in a split doubleheader action as they get the win here in game one by a score of... Eight to two. We'll take said about, uh, about a two-hour break here, and then be back. As uh, you're listening uh, for the Show Me Sports Network, I'm Blake Gasly. You've been listening to exclusive coverage of Eagles baseball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Until we talk to you in Game Two, so long, and have a great afternoon. Serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world, this is the Show Me Sports Network. The preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and was a high-fidelity all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyrighted by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. Mm -hmm. 